For the first time in 2024, US lawmakers are playing a dangerous game with a not-so-new weapon, hoping to force the other side into negotiating. Welcome to Hear the Web, I'm Tom. And I'm Lily. We're all about dissecting web stories that impact us. And today we find ourselves on the brink of a government shutdown, thanks to a fiery disagreement over a short-term spending bill. The disagreement is so intense, it's even threatening the position of the House of Representatives' top Republican, Kevin McCarthy. Quite right, Lily. The specter of a government shutdown is looming large, and as it stands, we are less than two weeks away from the funding deadline to keep federal agencies running. And from what we've gathered, the House of Representatives is marked with infighting, depicting what some like Democratic minority leader, Hakeem Jeffries, alludes to as a state of civil war. It seems like major divisions lie between hardline and moderate Republicans. They've managed to agree on a continuing resolution, essentially a stopgap spending bill that would keep the government afloat until the end of October. But here's where the cracks start to show, Tom. Not all Republicans are behind the continuing resolution. At least a dozen members have expressed skepticism or blatantly opposed it. Take Florida Congressman Matt Gates, for example, who referred to the bill as a betrayal of Republicans. And then there's Georgia's Marjorie Taylor Greene, who didn't mince her words when she simply posted, I'm a no! These responses are clearly putting McCarthy's leadership to the test. With a majority of 221, 212, he can't afford to lose more than four votes on any piece of legislation that Democrats unite in opposing. It's clear that McCarthy is stuck between a rock and a hard place. The hardline House Freedom Caucus members, largely aligned with Donald Trump, are openly using a government shutdown as a negotiation tactic to achieve their spending objectives and conservative policy priorities. Exactly, Tom. And meanwhile, McCarthy is trying to win back some support by pushing an $886 billion defense appropriations bill that had previously stalled because of disagreement over spending levels. Listeners, let it sink that the Republicans are willing to jeopardize the livelihood of thousands of federal employees to push their agenda. What's more worrying is that the impact wouldn't just stop at the federal employees. If a shutdown happens, it will also hit the economy. Leah Greenberg, co-founder of the progressive group Indivisible, recently criticized the Republican Party, stating they focus more on advancing extremist policy instead of on doing the basic work of governing. It's quite a strong criticism there, Lily, and Greenberg went on to say that every Republican in the House is enabling this process by virtue of being unwilling to break with the extremists. So, Tom, it seems like they're all playing a high-stakes game over here. Could McCarthy's hold on his speakership survive, or might we see another political power shift in Congress? There's dissent in the ranks. Bills are stalling. The government is at risk of shutting down. And, as Larry Jacobs, director of the Center for the Study of Politics and Governance at the University of Minnesota, puts it, even if something does get passed, concessions may have to be made that would be unacceptable to Democrats and perhaps even a few Republicans. We find ourselves wondering what options does McCarthy have left? The stage, Tom, doesn't look too welcoming. McCarthy's speakership is increasingly hanging by a thread, and this is unfolding within eight months of him becoming the top House Republican. It's an exceptional demonstration of the twists and turns in American politics, Lily. A reality where a political position attained after 15 tortuous rounds of voting and fierce negotiation could be so precarious. That's it for today on Hear the Web. A political drama is playing out, with potentially far-reaching implications on the nation's economy, political landscape, and indeed, people's livelihood. We hope the lawmakers find middle ground soon. Stay tuned as we follow developments closely. Thanks for tuning in.